Hello YouTube, this is the latest Team 27 and I'm doing another YouTube video on Space Engineers. Yeah, I was originally doing this video basically while building the ship, but my recorder, I couldn't tell if it was recording or not, nor if it was muted or not, and stuff like that, so I technically didn't get that part done. So, I didn't get the chance to show you this ship getting built. But, I can show you the finished version of it, and I like it a lot. So, today, I present to you my brand new ship. <laughs> it's called NoFem BSI Tech. <laughs> Fancy. I have no weapons on this ship. But it is completely survival ready. So uh, you can survive on this thing anywhere. The med bay is on top, right here. And it's on bottom, so this is a completely 3D ship. So top to bottom are exactly the same. And uh, side to side are exactly the same. The letters are the only difference in this entire ship. So. Uh, when we go into the top half, there's stuff like that. The two reactors are in this section. This is also where we have two torpedoes that I technically made. I couldn't figure out how to get the gyroscopes to work when you're in remote control mode, but that doesn't matter at the moment. We have torpedoes. So, um, you can connect on either side of this ship. It has four assemblers inside of it. It has a lot of oxygen generators and oxygen tanks. This runs on hydrogen and ion thrusters, so you can stop with ion and hydrogen. You can fly with hydrogen or ion. So you, I think you can land this on a planet. I'll probably do that later in the video. It has two jump drives and the assemblers have uh, power efficiency modules on them so then the ship doesn't take up too much power just producing stuff. I was thinking about what to add on, but both assemblers have two because I couldn't fit uh, four on each. So that's how that works. And then uh, you can fly this in either direction really. I like it in wide, but since this is a kind of 2D ship. It looks cool either way. I like it this way. And this way. I kind of just chose this direction because I like it. But since this is two-sided, I have uh, two sets of gravity generators. So there's two command decks. You can be on this deck or on the other deck, this side. So you can be on either side basically. These are the main thrusters back here, and that be the big ion thrusters that you fly with. It doesn't stop very fast, that's the only issue that I have with this, but as long as you have hydrogen on for stopping, you probably shouldn't have a problem, because there's six thrusters for stopping power. Now, there is a room that is oxygenated, so you won't die of oxygen, and that, I'll show you that in a moment. These are the torpedo things that I came up with. This is like the least of my build, really. So, these gyroscopes, I don't know why they don't work exactly, but thruster works, but nothing else except for the warhead and the antenna. Also, the reactor works. Well, I guess gyroscopes are the only thing that don't work on it, but that works pretty well otherwise so you can just fly the ship down after you unattach the landing gear and then it'll come out and then you can press spacebar it'll be a fairly good warhead if you can aim it correctly you can also add weapons on this ship it doesn't really matter and then we have automatic closing doors so those doors don't stay open just press right here and it closes this does not pressurize in this room because of the refinery right there because it leads into space from this crack. And the actually pressurized room 
this room right here, which is the command room where you're flying the vessel. So you, of course, do not want uh, um, to die in your command center. Sorry about that. My game actually crashed because I opened a door. <laughs> the door that I'm looking at right now through my escape button. So, <laughs> yeah. Lag. Okay, so this is kind of my command center section. This is the captain's chair right here. Yeah. Then we have our side consoles. These are like the consoles that people sit on. And that is the pilot seat right there that you see over here. We also have frontal cameras and back end cameras, but we should probably pressurize this section right here. Because then I can show you that it actually does pressurize in here. Eh. Just hard to fly around. But, um. Yeah. So let's sit in the command seat. And let me check this one thing really fast. Um actually, I think we're fine. Okay, so this is basically a command seat and we can look through all of our stuff. Yeah, all that. Um, think we're on gravity generator floor one, so turn off gravity generator two, and, oh, wrong floor, wrong side, okay, picked incorrectly, uh, gravity generator one, off, two, on, now we have gravity on this sector, like this floor sector, so we can walk the floor. And then if you have a question about this, I will show you right now. Okay, so that giant top door, you see, is a boarding ramp. So, whenever you dock on a station, I did this so that... Uh, okay. Uh, what did I name it? I forgot what I named it. I think it's... It wouldn't be a hangar door. You know what? I'm just gonna open both. They are obviously pressurized. So, they open up and you can go through the roof. I will show you. Then if you flip the gravity, this will work as a ramp to walk up. So you can walk through that and go wee. Oh no, I'm in space. Or you can dock on a station. Come out the command center, so that's kind of like your quick exit. Because you don't want people coming in and like destroying your stuff or completely killing you. <laughs> that would be bad. And yeah. Well, I don't really know much else about this ship that I can show you, so. I will be right back to show you if we can fly into atmosphere. Yeah, that'll be cool to see if we can fly in. If we can't, then you all will know. Okay, so I will be right back. My ship! Ah, oh, we've crash landed, sir. Oh no! Ah! We've destroyed it. No.
Thank you.